This is how to use the BBX 14S extractor kit from Grip Edge Tools. When you first open up the box, you're going to have stickers and it's going to include this paper pamphlet. This gives a breakdown of the drill bits, the sizes, and then how to use the tool. In this video, we're going to break that down and you get left-handed drill bits in sizes 1 through 7 in this kit. Here's some of the supplies you need, a drill, hammer, pliers, ratchet, center punch, and safety goggles. You will be able to complete this job. So to pick the size, you want to line it up over what you're going to be removing and you want the extractor to be just a little bit smaller than the service area. So we're going to be going with size four and we're going to work our way up. So we started with the center punch. We used a size two drill bit. Now we're using a size three drill bit to drill this out. Since we are working our way up to the size number four drill bit, don't be afraid to add some oil to make the drilling process easier. And now we're using the size four drill bit and we're finally able to drill this out to the hole we need. You can see all that material coming out, and this will leave a perfect hole for the extractor. Now it is time to hammer the extractor in place, so grab your extractor, make sure you line up and grab your hammer, and hammer it down into the hole. You want to get it as deep as you drilled, or at least as much as you can, and this gives it the opportunity to get more engagement and apply more torque. This is a straight cut non-tapered extractor, so it does not push the material outwards when you hammer this down in place. Then we can use the sleeve, lower that down to the surface, and it'll give it a more stable platform. Then you can use your ratchet and socket for size number four. It is a 10 millimeter socket, and this is a bi-directional extractor, so you can tighten and loosen to break a seize fastener free. And don't be afraid if the extractor comes out at a little bit of an angle, it is just matching what the bolt head and hole you drilled. So this bolt snapped off at a little bit of an angle, but it is still coming out perfectly fine and does not affect the grip of the extractor. And once we finally get this out of here, we can use that same sleeve we used to provide some stability. Grab some pliers or a wrench and then use the same ratchet and socket used to loosen up the extractor Tighten down the sleeve and it will push the fastener right off of the extractor, making the extraction process simple and easy and preventing damage from happening to the tool. 